we present a novel real-time facial reenactment method that works with any commodity webcam. Since our method only uses RGB data for both the source and target actor, we are able to manipulate YouTube videos in real time. Here we demonstrate our method in a live setup. On the right, a source actor is captured with a standard webcam. This input drives the animation of the face in the video shown on the monitor to the left. A significant difference to previous methods is the re-rendering of the mouth interior. To this end, we resynthesize the mouth interior of the target actor using video footage from the training sequence based on temporal and photometric similarity. As we can see, we are able to generate a realistic and convincing reenactment result. Here we show a close-up of the footage from the previous live reenactment. The input video stream is shown on the left. Note that the target actor is re-rendered in a neutral pose. On the right, we can see the final output of our method. Our system reconstructs and tracks both source and target actors using a dense photometric energy minimization. Using a novel subspace deformation transfer technique, we transfer the expressions from the source to the target actor. This allows us to obtain a modified face template of the target actor according to the expressions of the source actor. We now re-render the modified face on top of the target sequence in order to replace the original facial expressions. Here we show additional live sequences where we reenact various YouTube videos. In order to evaluate our approach, we perform a cross-validation based on optical flow. To this end, we retrieve mouth interiors from the first half of the video. The second half is used for evaluation queries. As we can see, our re-rendering error is very low. Our method introduces a new RGB face tracking pipeline, which we compare against state-of-the-art real-time face tracking methods. Here we show a comparison against Kao et al. and Tease et al. Note that Tease et al. is based on RGBD data, whereas Kao et al. and our method require only RGB input.
Here we show another tracking comparison to phase shift 2014, which relies on RGBD data. Although our method is RGB only, we achieve similar tracking quality. In contrast to real-time tracking methods, we also compare against the offline tracking algorithm of Xi et al. Note that Xi et al. perform additional geometric refinement using shading cues. We now compare our approach against previous reenactment approaches. Here we show the scenario of a translator animating another person. Note that our approach runs in real time while Garrido et al. works offline. Here we show a comparison to T's et al. who rely on RGBD data. Both methods produce similar reenactment results. However, note that T's et al. uses a geometric teeth proxy, which leads to artificially shaped mouth regions. Thank you for watching.